Hello again. I've been impressed with what y'all are learning with WeVideo, and there's so much more that we can do. But I still have many times students ask, well, can I do it with Screencastify? Screencastify is a powerful tool in itself, but there's so much more in WeVideo. And depending upon the job you're trying to do as to which tool is the correct one to use. And I want you to understand that and keep that in mind. When do I use Screencastify? When do I use WeVideo? All depends upon what you're doing. So you, before you start any project, you've got to stop and think, what am I trying to achieve? And from that, what tool do I need? So right now with the eighth grade testing and some things going on with our schedules and all, we're going to kind of step back a little bit. And I want you to use the recorder in WeVideo. So here's the key. As you know, you go in there, you go in, you open up. Let's see if I can at least get partway. You go to create new. You can see, do you want to do just your desktop? Do you want to do just the webcam? Or do you want to do both? I need you to try to do both on this one. Some of you can do that. Some of you cannot. Those of you that can do both, you need to be able to go ahead. I need to see your face and your screen. I want you with today's assignment, I want you to compare WeVideo to Screencastify. You can talk about what's good about each one, what you don't like about each one, and then why, how do they compare? How are they similar? How are they different? What's the good? What's the bad? Make a good comparison. This video should be between two and three minutes long. I want an instructional. I want your opinion. I don't want a comedy routine. I know many times y'all think you can be, that's not what we need in this situation. I want this serious. I want your true opinion and supporting your opinion. Don't just say, I don't like it. Explain what about it you don't like. All right. That should be real simple. Make sure you take care of that. Two to three minutes in length. You can give me a title. Make sure you render it and then share it with me so I have evidence that you've done the assignment. Also, make sure you take care of your edutyping and your self-progress report with edutyping. If you have questions, let me know, but pay attention to the assignment in the video. Thank you.